checking the shoulder area. And if you need to adjust the shoulders, noticing the effect that has on the position of your arms, your hands, giving the fingers space, palms the possibility to just open up, let go of any tension. And checking how the head is balanced on the neck. Ironing out any creases in the neck, perhaps by tilting the head slightly forward if you wish. Relaxing the jaw. The lips, the tongue, the cheeks, the eyes and the brow. Coming into contact with a sense of the body as a whole. A sense of this being who you know so intimately well. And sensing a connection with yourself, a sense of empathetic resonance aware that you have your struggles and challenges joys and success which is very similar to others it takes different forms different shades different intensities but it's all part of being a human being. With a very deep range of emotions, capacities to feel, to love, to care. Recognizing the courage it takes just to feel, to be here fully. And to regard yourself with kindness, understanding and love. Caring for yourself same way a child a mother would care for her child or if you have a benefactor an older sibling or a best friend perhaps the way they might care for you regarding yourself without judgment measurement expectation but with understanding and care. And offering yourself the phrases of loving kindness. Your deepest wish for yourself. If it helps, you may even imagine yourself looking into your own eyes.
as though the older, wiser, more compassionate part of yourself was suffusing the part that's most in need of metta with loving kindness. And staying connected with the loving kindness, the feelings in your body, in your heart. We're going to invite the dear person in again. Maybe the person you've already been practicing with or someone else who you feel could really use some of the loving kindness. Perhaps someone you feel grateful toward. to flow to this person. Again, using the phrases, whenever your fire needs kindling, and letting them go if that fire is well established, connecting with the pure experience of loving kindness. And now maintaining the perception of yourself and your dear friend, we're going to spread the metta to include all beings who are sharing this space right now. Perhaps people that you know already or that you met and spoke to today in the groups. But including everybody, getting a general sense of the people sharing this space, the spiritual companions you've been cultivating love and kindness with today, who, like you, wish for their own happiness and move away from suffering. Imagine the loving kindness spreading to all these people and infusing us all with a sense of safety, care and ease. Allowing that loving kindness to get stronger the more it's shared. Any 
phrases to just cease. Trusting in the force of loving kindness to flow beyond this space to all the places in the world. If you're in England, from England to France to Denmark to New York, Weaving a web of loving kindness that connects us all geographically across time and space. And allowing this loving kindness to just keep on spreading outward indiscriminately breaking down the barriers, the artificial barriers we've erected between ourselves and others, spreading to all beings of all different races, ethnicities, different genders, class or caste, to all beings who are well and all beings who are sick. To those who are happy, experiencing joy, And those who are suffering in loneliness and despair. Imagine the metta spreading like a golden light throughout this planet Earth. To all human beings. And to all animals, insects, birds, to all creatures in the sea, on land and in the earth, may all beings share our loving kindness. May they all be happy. May they all be free from suffering. May they all have enough food, shelter and love around them. And allowing the power of this loving kindness, connecting, saying connected to your heart, spreading it into the hospitals, the places where people may be breathing their last few breaths. Imagine it suffusing them with loving kindness. So they know that someone cares. Bringing peace. Enabling them to let go. 
and trust the journey after death. Spreading your loving kindness to wherever is needed, whoever comes to mind. And gently allowing the impressions of other beings to fade, returning to the source of that loving kindness in your own heart. Connecting with any emotion or sensation, maybe pleasant experience of a softened and expanded mind. Again, caring for this being. Recognizing that you're no different from anyone else. You too are subject to old age, sickness and death. And also have the capacity for deep joy and peace. Just allowing the mind to enjoy the experience of metta. And I'll chant the final blessing to close this meditation. Sabe Sata Sabe Pana Sabe Buddha, Sabe Pugala, Sabe Atta Bawa Pariyapana, Sabe Itiyo, Sabe Purisa, Sabe Ariya, 
Sabayanavia Sabi Deva Sabi Manusa Sabi Wini Padika Aweva hon tu Abya Paja hon tu Aniga hon tu Sukiatanam Parihavantu Dukha Munjantu Yadalada Sampatito Mawe Gachantu Kamasaka We always say Sadhu three times at the end, which means awesome. <laughs> May we share these good wishes. And may all beings be happy and free from suffering, little by little, step by step. Thank you very much. We're almost through the afternoon. <laughs>